Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. <laughs> Hi there, Lloyd Macedo. So, we need from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding? Today, the date is uh, April 3rd, 2018. Time right now is 11.51. Okay, got this question from one of the readers uh, who asked me, Lloyd, what exactly is this personal branding strategist all about? <laughs> okay. And, uh, and then I also got another guy who sent me um, this, uh, this link. Uh, of a guy who claims to be a personal branding strategist, award-winning personal branding strategist. And um, the funny thing is I know the guy. I, I know the guy, so I, I, I don't, I don't want to give out his name. And I also found out on LinkedIn there's another award-winning Middle East leading personal branding strategist. Okay, fine. Uh, here's the thing. Okay, first and foremost, this personal branding thing, uh, strategist, is not, it's not like a, trademarked concept. Nobody can trademark it. It's like, for example, life or water. Nobody can trademark. These are terms, okay? Anyone can be anything. You can be a life coach. I met dishwashers who became coaches, uh, you know, motivational coaches, inspirational life coaches, proactive coaches, uh, brand coaches. So anyone can be this coaching industry now. Anyone can become. Yeah, okay, even you can become tomorrow if you want. Okay, so it's there's nothing like uh, it's exclusive. Now, coming to personal branding, personal branding, uh, it started off in the 1930s with uh, Napoleon Hill coming out with this book on Think and Grow Rich. Finally, went out to Tom Peters in the 1970s when he wrote articles about it online, and uh, it has gained traction over the period of time. People like uh, Harry Beckwith and uh, Christine Clifford in U Inc. Uh, made to stick by Chip and Dan Heath. Then you have Gorilla Marketing by Jay Conrad Levinson. You have Jack Canfield who has spoken about it in the Success Principle. You have Tom Peters who has spoken on Brand You. Uh, you have David Alexandro who has spoken on Career Warfare, Branding Pace by Karen Kang. Very good book is Influenced by Robert Caldini. Very good book again is Al Rice and Jack Trout in Positioning. You also have Marty Numer, which whose book I like, The Brand Gap, really thought-provoking. And yes, the all-time great, that is um, David O'Gleavy and Confessions of an Advertising Man. So these are the guys who have really brought about branding onto the forefront. However, the thing is, end of the day, it's like you can, anyone can title himself personal branding. Style. So I'll give you my story how it came about seven years ago so it started off when you know i lost everything didn't have any money i didn't want to get back to the corporate world i wanted to do something of my own so i took my own visa my own and i started positioning myself as a trainer i'll train you so because i knew public speaking went into public speaking but then you know end of the day it's about making money i was not making good amount of money public speaking and thanks to toastmasters winning trophies but not making money so then I moved into NLP, studied that because of Tony Robbins, spent a lot of money there, studied coactive coaching, studied life coaching, studied sales techniques, negotiation techniques, uh, career counseling, character analysis, handwriting analysis, did that for two years, spent more than $200,000, dollars, okay? And because my partner was supporting me, I literally read one book per day. I'm not exaggerating, 12 to 14 hours. It used to fry my brains, but I used to read, actually physically read. Okay, so then from there, I started putting my signature as Loy Macedo, NLP coach, coactive coach, life coach, and sales coach, but that was too long. And I didn't want to associate myself with the NLP or coactive. I found a lot of retards, stupid, idiotic people there where I didn't want to be associated with them. So then I thought, okay, what is something unique? So then I bought about peak performance coach, Loy Macedo peak performance coach. But there the problem turned out is people thought peak performance is a guy with six pack abs. I was like, oh shit, okay. So then after thinking, I came with the title, Loy Mosquito, ta the tattoo trainer, TTT, and because I had tattoos and as a trainer. So that worked for some time. If you check my previous videos, you know, the promos, Loy Mosquito, the tattoo trainer. But then I started getting into legal problems because, you know, people started calling me and saying, do you do tattoos? That is illegal. Or are you teaching people with tattoos? I was like, oh, sheesh, not again. And as I was going for companies, I went to Oracle, IBM, LG, uh, Landmark Group, uh, 
uh, Emirates Airlines, Etihad. I conducted uh, programs over there, but I couldn't use the tattoo trainer for legal reasons. I like, got damn, what do I do? And very soon in, in, in Dubai, in the Middle East, the problem with doing a session or a seminar or a talk, they ask you to register as a vendor and they ask you for, to bring your trade license, to bring your visa copy, to register yourself, to show your degrees. I didn't have any college degrees. And the worst part is like places like these companies like Langmark Group where they are training managers, they would literally ask you, give me all your training material so I can go through it and verify it and we can check the ROI. So invariably, he wanted all my trade secrets to be given to him, which he would train and use for future, uh, you, you know, training sessions. I was like, man, if they take all my content, then, you know, I can't go to this company and I'm building new competitors. I was like, bloody hell, what do I do? So I decided I was not going to train any more of these companies because these companies, you have to be prim, proper and nice and all that stuff. So then I decided I'm going to train people personally. So I had to include the word personal trainer. Okay. But personal training, I didn't do exercise. So personal training, I was like, what? And that is where I slowly moved from all these coactive NLP, live sales, whatever. I realized I can help people make a resume. I can help people prepare for interviews. I can help people get better jobs because I have those contacts. But I didn't want to be called a career or a job search coach. So I was like, what do, I, what do I do? I help people get better as a brand. So I was like, personal brand. Okay, personal brand. So personal brand coach. Uh, you know, coach was too misused. I didn't want to put trainer because then they look at a guy with a, you know, formal tie. I came up with the term strategy. Personal branding strategist. And seven years ago, nobody in the Middle East had it. So I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to use personal branding strategist. And from there... I started putting up articles. That is why if you Google my name, you'll get four and a half thousand articles and videos. I didn't use any SEO. I didn't use any service. I didn't have anyone kiss my ass and say, oh, Lord, you're great. You're amazing. And all. I just didn't know what to do. I was just putting content. Okay. To my luck, uh, the SEO started picking up. I started improving the content, started doing, uh, giving people value and people started, you know, recommending me to others. They started coming to my website. Traffic started building up. And that is why today, if you Google my name, personal branding comes right at the top with my name. Okay. Now, um, let me tell you one dirty little secret or two, which nobody will tell you. You know that that name that I had is award winning, award winning. People have started to use the name award winning. I'll tell you what is the award. You can see at the top, you can see all these trophies. It's not a trophy shop. This is all the awards that I got in college, all the awards that I got uh, from presentation, all the awards that I got in Toastmasters, okay? I'm, I'm being truthful. There are 800 of them, okay? I, I can't put all, okay? So I won all these awards, and I wanted to position myself. So I said award-winning whatever, communicator, coach, or whatever. It had nothing got to do with personal brand. There's no award-winning for whatever. Most of the people who join Toastmasters nowadays put award-winning coach. The only award that they get is this, uh, you know, $2 trophy, which is like for encouraging children, which people say, I'm an award-winning coach. You're, you're bullshit. Okay. It's just out of four or five people who are called to speak, they give you encouragement. So they call themselves award-winning. Okay. This is how they play around. Then they say the number one in Russia, Canada, Middle East, Dubai, number one, whatever. You know, why did I put number one? Because at that time, I was the only guy in the Middle East who was doing personal branding strategy. I was the only guy with that title. So I said, okay, I'll put number one in the Middle East. Because nobody else was there. And uh, that's how I did award winning and number one. I also tried experimenting with the leading, leading, because I was leading. Okay. Today, <laughs> there are so many award winning coaches. There are so many number one in this country, that country, Canada, Russia, Middle East, number one personal branding strategist. Okay. See, I I don't owe this. You can't trademark this name, number one. To kind of slap it on the face, I put world's uh, the number one personal branding coach in the world. I just put it up. Because see, here's the thing. Anyone can become. But end of the day, end of the day, you can be number one in the universe. End of the day, it all comes down to, are you adding value to the people who are 
subscribing to you, like this video is my time, it's my expertise. I'm not doing it because I'm fucking jobless. I'm doing it because I want to give awareness, content. It's, it's actually my time. This is my office work. If I'm reading a book, let's say, for example, reading a book, it's my time. Okay? If I'm typing an article that takes like one hour, it's my time. If I'm putting creativity, it's my time. It's not easy. So I add value. Four and a half thousand articles and videos is not a fucking joke. Okay? Try it. Try it. Put 3,000 words, one, one article. See how long does it take you. So, and you can't put garbage. You can't copy, paste. You have to create content. And I created that. And from there, I got people who are interested. From there, I worked with them. So it's not like I read one book. Okay, today I am going to tell you one tip that will change your life. Work hard. Work hard. Read. I don't give fucking all that shit, man. And like, you know, one of the videos is, what is your unicorn? You go like this. What the fuck? You know, what are you talking shit? You're going to dress up in a fucking unicorn and go to your fucking office. End of the day, your boss is going to say, your brand fantastic brand where the fuck is the money i'm paying you fucking money bring me fucking money that's that that's a reality okay end of the day your employer doesn't give a fuck about your brand he gives a fuck about are you making fucking money so now the question comes what the fuck am i doing am i conning people am i give them recycled information am i just claiming to be number one but i'm bullshit i'll tell you what i do i work with people i work with people to make sure that whatever fucking money that they make, I double it. Okay, that's that's point blank. How do you fucking double it? I do it either by hook or by crook. I'm, I'm telling you, I tell them the dirty secrets of the industry, whether it's faking it with... with I, I teach them the loopholes that nobody fucking else will tell them how they can bypass the fucking system. Because here's the thing, if honesty worked, if being good worked, we'd only have good people. We would not have Donald Trump as the president. We would not have Kim Kardashian showing her ass and getting so many people <laughs> going crazy. You would not have a CEO. You know, he just, uh, for example, on LinkedIn, just go there. CEO says, oh, work hard. You'll succeed. And then you'll get all the fuckers kissing his ass. Oh, so you are so amazing. Sir. Why are they fucking kissing his ass? You put work hard. Nobody will fucking like the comment. Nobody will share it. But if you're a hot girl with cleavage or a hot face or blonde Hi guys, today we'll release your inner unicorn. All the fuckers who want a blowjob, who want their dick to be sucked. Wow, this is amazing. Release the unicorn. Oh, wow, that was thought provoking. Fuckers, you know, it's, it's so fucking fake. The corporate world is so fucking fake. People are fake. Everyone's fucking fake, it, it looks like, you know. So, a hot girl puts some shit, everyone kisses her fucking ass. See, but end of the day, I'll tell you this much. You can get 10,000 likes. You can get 100,000 comments. It all comes down to you. Are you fucking making more money? If you made, let's say, $10,000 before taking the person's course, you're making $15,000 after doing the course and a period of time, fine. That course is fucking good. But if you just end there to get knowledge, knowledge like Thai Lopez, just knowledge, then buy a fucking book, read it. Or if you want to say, I'll scratch your back and say, you're very good. You scratch my back and say, I'm very good. Fine, then go ahead. But eventually the truth will come out. Because if you suck eggs, people are going to say, man, she's only boobs and face, all shit. And that's why, I, I, you know, I find it so fucking immature. Today, um, I'm going to tell you, you need to work hard. You need to identify who you are and you need to move towards your dreams. You need to position yourself. You need to think different. And this, these fucking words, any fucking kid could have fucking said it, you know. It's a fucking retarded. I'll tell you, it's so fucking stupid. People don't use their fucking common sense. And copying someone's fucking idea blatantly and explicitly, shame on fucking you, that shows you lack fucking creativity. Create some fucking articles. Four and a half thousand I've created. Show me where the fuck I've copied. Because I use my fucking brains. Look at real life fucking examples. Agreed. There is nothing revolutionary there. I'm not a PhD in physics or mathematics. I've not invented a new fucking formula. All the information that I'm giving you is what I read from these fucking books. 
Okay, and these authors, how did they write the book? They read it from some other fucking book because when you're born, you're not born with knowing everything. You read and you use the same information and you share. So everyone's recycling fucking information. Okay, so this is how I got to be a personal branding strategist. Bottom line, I help people earn more fucking money. I tell them the loopholes in the system. I tell them what the fuck they're doing wrong and I tell them on their face. I'm not going to, if someone meets me, I'm not going to tell them, wow, you need to position yourself so think creatively and no, we work on fucking specifics. That is why I charge the fucking highest. And the reason I got a personal, why I decided to be a personal branding strategy is because I didn't want to work at fucking stinky ass fucking companies with bureaucracy and all that. One to one, they pay me 100% in advance. That's why I'm telling you this. I charge bloody, you know, $10,000, $25,000 and I put the price tag of $100,000. I've got one fucking client and it's good money for me. If I were to cheat these people, nobody would fucking pay me. Whether you believe it or not, I give a fuck because the people who know my stuff, who research about me, they pay me the fucking money. So you believe me or not, I don't fucking care. How do you think I'm fucking staying in Thailand for two years? Ah, well, I should have money, right? I should be doing this. Others, how the fuck am I making money? End of the day, remember this. Whatever the title, is the person adding value to you? If yes, great. If not, fuck it. Okay, and for me, personal branding strategies, I did it out of dire and fucking necessity seven years ago. I coined that term and I've dedicated seven fucking years reading a fucking book every single fucking day. Okay, for two years, 800 books I finished. Um, th sorry, three years, 800 fucking books, and then spent more than half a million US dollars in books, courses, downloading pirated stuff, and doing a lot of my research and working with people. and. I didn't spend on a marketing company, SEO or nothing. I just put hardcore fucking content and Google finally recognized that original content, not copied. And that's where I'm up. So it has been ups and downs. And that's why I'm a personal branding strategist. And today, today, the, the fact that I can stay in Thailand, I'm earning money. I'm living a comfortable life should prove that I don't have a sugar daddy. I don't have a fucking pretty face. I don't have boobs. I don't have hot looks. I'm not a guy with a big fucking position. Nothing. You see my videos. They're all fucking hardcore in your face. They'll say fuck you when they have to say fuck you. I keep it as real. And that's why I'm fucking successful. So I hope it makes sense. How is Law Institute a personal branding fucking strategist? If any monkey ass wants to fucking copy me like this guy in India or this female, copy. Fuck you. Copy. I don't fucking care. I'm glad you fucking copy because end of the day, when they Google that name, personal branding strategist, you get fucked because you are advertising me. Thank you to everyone who copies me. I don't fucking care. End of the day, it's like, you know, we all have to make fucking money, but you are marketing me, which is good. I don't mind. Haha, anyway, so live from livemissy.com, who's live missing and think personal branding, sharing with you his tips, tricks, and strategies. Oh, what the fuck am I saying? Sharing with you how we became personal branding strategists. Okay, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Want to put bad words or any comments, put it in the comment section below. This is me signing off for now. Take care. Bye.